Hey guys, welcome back. So our next parameter we are now looking at is stop sequence. So stop sequence are nothing but a set of characters which actually signals to the API to stop generating uh, uh, completions. So that's basically what stop sequences are. And let's actually look at more on uh, stop sequences here. So stop sequences are generally used to make a model to stop at a desired point. It could be end of a sentence, end of a list, or any specific delimiter or word you specify. So generally, the return key will work well as stop sequences for single line completions. But if you uh, do not set a stop line sequence, the default one is the end of text. And you can pass up to four stop sequences for any given model. And stop sequence, it's an optional setting. It's not mandatory. So that's basically what you need to remember. And after this, uh, let me go to um, my model here. So I have three stop sequences here. And if you click on the stop sequences here, it basically shows up to four uh, sequences where API will stop generating further tokens. The return text will not contain the stop sequence. So that's basically it. And now let's look at three examples for stop sequences here. So the first one is a chat example. We have three stop sequences here. One is a new line, human or AI. So goal is to generate text only for the current speaker. And the three chosen stop sequences created are the constraints we have mentioned to achieve our what uh, our goal uh, to achieve our goal. So the completion can't go to a new line. The completion can't change a speaker. This won't allow any speaker to speak twice in a sequence. So it has to wait for AI to respond back and only then they can ask the next question. And similarly for Q&A here. So once you ask a question, if you have a new line as the delimiter, so basically AI would respond back and then you ask the next follow up question. So stop sequence here is the new line and the last one we have here is a list example so if you basically say give me list of 11 items and your stop sequence is 11 then you would only see 10 items and the model would terminate when it tries to generate the 11th item so that covers our stop sequence in the next video we are going to move on to the next parameter thank you for joining